Well, now, some football clubs have a history. Coventry City, up until the 60s, just had, a, I suppose, a past. They moved around between the second division, the old third north and south, and eventually descended into Division 4. Then came a new beginning, and despite several close calls, they've maintained their first division status unbroken for the last 20 years. The man who changed things at Coventry was undoubtedly James Hill. Over 20 years ago, the Sky Blue Express steamed out of this station, carrying the citizens of Coventry, the length and breadth of the land, in support of their team. Today, we go down to Wembley to support the Sky Blues in the Cup Final and we're accompanied by some of those who shared those magic moments in days gone by. To forget the boredom and fatigue of the assembly line, there's always football. And when Coventry City play away from home, the club run the Sky Blue Special, a weekend excursion away from the factory, complete with music and dancing, beer and bingo. It's an escape route and a good way to keep busy waiting for the Saturday game. All they think about now with the Sky Blue is Monday morning at work, nothing but uh, Sky Blue. That's the warm man, I should say so. I think he's getting as bad as Liverpool. Jimmy, how significant is the football club to the Coventry car worker? I think it plays a big part uh, in his or her life. I've never worked on a, an assembly line myself, but I, I, I've watched them, and I imagine that at the end of a day, you want something to lift you up, and at the end of a week, you want something exciting, something with a life in it. Uh, and a weekend away uh, supporting the Coven City Football Club, I think, gives them that lift. They enjoy themselves, apart from watching the game, they feel very much part of the afternoon. They go out and enjoy themselves after the game. On a Monday morning, they come back refreshed. 